Hi, I'm Travis, and I'm here today to introduce you to our Stone Rose intern, Kellen Dunn. Hello. <laughs> um, Kellen is a geology student at BYU and um, has decided to spend her summer this year interning here at Stone Rose. Um, so, Kellen, let's talk about you, I guess. Oh, okay. Um, so, what got you interested in geology in the first place? Um, well, my mom has always been a huge rock collector. Uh, we have more rocks in our house than we have room for. It's started to go into the yard. We have a rock garden. As it does. <laughs> um, but then I also took a geology class in high school. Um, and I actually took it because the class I wanted, an astronomy class, wasn't available. So I ended up with geology and I was like, okay, this should be all right. Um, and one thing I loved was the teacher. He was super enthusiastic and encouraging, um, and he was just a funny guy. Um, so great teacher, plus I also just really liked learning about the details of how things work, how things came to be, and the processes. Gotcha. Um, so how did that lead you here to Stone Rose? <laughs> Uh, well, my family has been coming to Stone Rose about as long as I can remember. We would come up for summers all the time. Um, and so I've dug here lots of times, found lots of really cool fossils. And I was like, well, what better way to spend the summer than with rocks and fossils? Fair enough. Um, you know, it's actually really cool that you have a long history of digging and then now you're on the other side of things. Um, <laughs> Has interning here changed your perspective of that whole process a bit? Um, I mean, there's definitely a lot more things that I know about the rocks and the process of finding the rocks. You know, when, when I was a kid, I would kind of just smash open whatever rocks and I was like, let's try this one. And But now I'm like, oh, I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for layers. I'm looking for um, shale versus the sandstone. So I know a bit more about the rocks, what I'm looking for, and then also the fossils and being able to tell like, oh, this is a cool one. Like this is a birch leaf. Like I can kind of look at it and know what I'm looking at instead of just, that's cool. It's a stick or like, oh, this is what it is, and yeah. Gotcha. So obviously I know what projects you're working <laughs> on, but um, you know, the, the public doesn't. So you know, what, what sort of projects have you been working on as an intern here? Let's see. I think the latest one is, and probably more of the main one right now, is the reworking the cases for our fossils. So redoing the labels, because um, some of them are a little out of date. Some of them have, you know, the names have changed as the species lists have changed. And Yeah, it's been a little while since those were updated. Just a little bit. And so, you know, going through those, looking at the taxology lists and going through and being like, oh, okay, in this family, there's these subfamilies and these are in this subfamily. So kind of going through those and re rehashing them, revamping them. Gotcha. So what have you learned from the, 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 these Let's projects? See. <laughs> well, I didn't know a lot about um, all of that textology stuff to start off with. And so I kind of learned how do I format these kinds of things and, oh, what are the different families and subfamilies and um, kind of looking at those and figuring out, oh, so these are in this subfamily and how they're all kind of interconnected and how they all kind of blend together like oh these are all in one big family and mm -hmm. well yeah I mean you just recently redid the Rose family uh -huh. case and that's a big family yeah no there's a lot of things like um I never would have known that like cherries and peaches and apples are also in the Rose family I just kind of thought oh Rose family roses flowers you know but now it's like oh I know that there's so many other things yeah, so much more than just the, the, the pretty flowers. And yeah. Of course, and you also know that, you know, the flower that we find here and we use our logo isn't even related to roses. Nope, not at all. You know, I was like, oh, the Coco and Mallow family. It's kind of something that I didn't think of because I think of hot cocoa and marshmallows as something we have nowadays. And I don't, kind of, I don't think of like, oh, this is an extinct relative of something that was around 50 million years ago. Like this is what cocoa and marshmallows would have been 50 million years ago. <laughs> Right. Um, it's actually one of the, my favorite things to tell kids is that, you know, it's related to those species and yeah. kind of think of it as like the hot chocolate flower as a yeah. like way, easy way to remember it. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, of course, you know, they don't actually make marshmallows out of the plant, but, you know. Yeah, but, you know. Close enough. Um, thinking of fossils, what's the coolest fossil you've ever found? Oh, um, let's see. Well, I have a couple ones. Um, I mean, I found the Florisantia, the stone rose. I was pretty proud of that one. Um, I found a ginkgo leaf that was very nice, very intact and very whole and actually had some mineral staining to it, giving it some fun colors. Um, but one uh, from a few years ago, this was like probably a decade ago, I found a beetle and it got retained by stone rose. And so I was like, I found something cool enough to get retained. So. <laughs> awesome. I, pr I probably kept that beetle from you back then. Either <laughs> that or maybe Andy. Um, <laughs> um, have you dug fossils anywhere else other than stone rose? Yeah, let's see. I've done a few. Um, I've done a couple geology field trips uh, with BYU. I've done um, a couple of them back in Boise with a group there. Um, so I have dug for trilobites before. Um, I didn't nice. find any of the ones that we have displayed, like the ones that are this big. Those ones are from Morocco, but I have some nice ones that are, you know, about half the size mm -hmm. of that. Um, let's see, we also went to uh, like a fossil dune area. So there were oolites, which is a really fun word, but it's like uh, calcium carbonate that's in little balls, little circles that kind of accumulate together. So those ones are fun. Um, you know, I also gotten like seashells, things like that. Um, yeah. um, do you have a favorite fossil? Ooh. Um, I mean, trilobites are just a classic. They're they're a very fun one, and there's so much variety. Like, you know, there's ones that are this big and are really tiny and really cute, and then there's ones that are about half as big as I am, and it's just like, like crazy. But I don't know. Trilobites are pretty cool. I'm more of an ammonite person, um, but you know, ammonites each their are own. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, any idea what you're gonna do with your geology degree? <laughs> That is the million dollar question. I am not sure yet. Um, I feel like there's a lot of different routes to go with geology. There's a lot of different things I can do and lots of different things that are interesting. But something that I um, really like that about Stone Rose and working here is I get to interact with other people and tell them about rocks. And I get really excited telling people about things that I'm really interested in. So I definitely want to do something where I get to interact with other people and share like the passion I have for rocks and fossils. Nice. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit biased. I think you should, you know, go into paleobotany and, you know, maybe study <laughs> conifers, particularly our conifers, but. Uh, <laughs> we'll see, you know, it's an option. I ha I'm not ruling out options yet. So it's an option that's there. Um, so over all of your intern experience here so far, what do you like the most? Um, well, uh, there's what I was talking about, about getting to, you know, share the, the love of rocks and geology with people, but I also really enjoy working with the people here. Um, it's just a really great environment. It's super fun. Um, and it's, you know, it's not something super stressful, but you know, it definitely puts me to work, challenges me, teaches me new things. So I, I just love the environment here. And, um, it's a good point of teaching you new things. Um, but how does what you've learned in your classes so far, you know, influence your study, your work here at Stone Rose? Um, I mean, it definitely helps to know with like when I'm doing orientations and telling people what kind of things I'm looking for um, or what kinds of things they're looking for to find a rock is um, being able to say, hey, like this is how this was formed. You know, like this is why we find it in shale versus in sandstone and be able to um, help other people be able to help find things more. But then there's also um, I've learned a lot about, you know, the geologic time scale and it's like, oh, we're right in the Eocene and be able to have a context for that. Like, what does Eocene even mean? Well, it's 50 million years old. It's, you know, after the dinosaurs, but, and then kind of knowing like, ah, this is the context of the fossils we're looking at. Um, and also just knowing the processes of like, ah, like this is how the area came to be, like the mountain building processes and, you know, the things that mm -hmm. made this a fossil lake. So lots of over overlapping. One one thing to add to what you're learning. Did you know that Eocene means dawn of the new? Oh, I did not know that. Yep, yeah, that's okay. where the name comes from. Okay, well, cool. Um, conversely, do you think you've learned stuff that'll help you going forward? 
Let's see. I mean, yeah, there's definitely a lot of things, um, especially with the uh, taxological names that I think would be helpful in any field of geology that's like, ah, knowing this about, you know, this is how these are organized, knowing how um, the families are organized, how those work uh, will definitely be helpful in geology and just kind of knowing things about the area and learning more about how fossils form, how fossils are found will help in, you know, mm -hmm. kind of wherever I end up going or at least will be something cool and be like, I know how fossils work. Nice. Well, we definitely appreciate having you as our intern, and um, it's been fun so far, and hopefully you continue to learn more this summer. And Well, I love being here, so thanks for letting me be here. And thanks for agreeing to this interview. I mean, <laughs> I, you know. Begrudgingly a little bit, just a no. little begrudging. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, interviews are always fun. Yeah. <laughs> They're always an experience, at least. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. And... Um, the noises you probably heard in the background are the uh, roofers fixing our roof and putting the new roof on. So mm -hmm. um, if the noises distorted anything, we're sorry for that, but that's what happens when you work in a construction zone. Mm -hmm. They're driving us as crazy as they are you. <laughs>